very busy winter. Obviously, it's going to be our last season with Luis, um, so we are keen in bringing a really uh, quick car. And then uh, in the factory, hard working to deliver the product, which we shall see today how, how it goes. Yeah, well, it's obviously been emotional. It's very surreal to be here, given the uh, I came here in 2013. Um, so 11 years with the team, starting in my 12th, and it is um, it is such a privilege to to work with a group of people where you you see the work they're doing over winter. We go through this process over the last couple of years. You see a, a car come together at the beginning of the year. It's the most exciting part of the, uh, of the season, really. Um, it's why you see in everyone's launches. You see that this is the first time I've seen the car the car come together as a whole. But to know everything that's underneath the hood. Um, which people won't get to see, but we, George and I, will get to experience on the track. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, really excited for the year ahead. As Lewis said, there's been so much work going on over this winter. We've learned so much over the last two years with these new regulations of cars. And it really is uh, an exciting part of a year because you're going into the unknown. We've done so many laps on the simulator, so many meetings, conversations with the designers, the engineers, everybody bringing this car to life. We just want to get behind the wheel now and see see how it performs. Yeah, it's been amazing. I can't remember all of us being so interested in finally starting the car up, firing it up, and seeing seeing how it is, um, and and realizing this is a complete relaunch of of a car. It is very different, um, not only on the aerodynamic surfaces, but mainly underneath. There are so many mechanical changes that we have done, which we hope are going to translate into more performance, more predictability, a car that the drivers can really push, and we will see it next week in Berlin. Yeah, we got it. We got it wrong with the new regulations. But when you when we will be looking back in ten years um, or longer, and you you're going to read that we finished first eight time in a row, and then third and second in the constructor, it will look like it was a respectable result and uh, wasn't so bad. But this is not uh, not uh, counting another team and another driver winning most of the races. So our aim is to consolidate our positions towards Ferrari and, and McLaren, sometimes Aston Martin. Um, and be at the for, forward part of that group in the same time as you know trying to race at the very front. This is our aim. We're determined to do so. And at the same time, we know how difficult it is because you're a step behind that your main competitor that has, has gotten it right straight from the get-go. But we love the challenge, and uh, this is why we, I'm so eager and all of us so eager to see the car finally driving. I mean, the focus through the whole of winter training is, is first, is getting the team back to where uh, we once were. And um, I think we've had this difficult couple of years, which I think has been really grounding for us. Um, it's, it's helped us, you know, regroup. We've had to relook at things, as, as Toto mentioned. Um, and it's now just going through the, the important process, being really diligent with our work, understanding the data, understanding the car, maximizing from practice. Even just the one lap we might get in the rain today might give George and I a, a bit of a feeling of, um, of, of what's to come. I've, I've always loved working with a team. I think it's, it, it makes, it, you know, particularly when there's so many people, there's such a huge human element that's in the background whilst we're, it's all about high performance and it's this machine that we are building and that carries us across the line without all of those um, people in the background working as they do so incredibly hard, we would not ever get to where we need to be. So um, it's, it's, it's great when we all have a com that common goal and we're all focused on that in the whole year. It's, um, it's a real privilege. And, and as we said, we've, we've seen all of the drawings. We've been in the wind tunnel. We've been driving it in the simulator. We've been seeing the, the design on the computers and, you know, with the Petronas green down the side and bringing the silver back to, to the race car. But seeing it here as one is, is, is really uh, an exciting moment. But none of that matters until it hits the track and we see, see what the lap times produce. To be honest, I couldn't sleep last night because it's this element of anticipation. I think when you arrive to you know, round three, four, or five, you've got an idea or an expectation of, of your performance. When you arrive to the first test and you arrive to the first race, you have no idea how this car is going to perform. You have an indication of the improvements you've made, but you don't know what your rivals have, have achieved. Have they made a step forward? Have they made any mistakes? Are we going to leap forward? Are there going to be cars from behind who are going to make an unexpected jump? So this is the time of the year where everybody's sat in anticipation, but all you can do is you know, look at yourself in the mirror, maximize everything you can do, keep on working, don't worry about the rest, and uh, I've got faith it'll come.